like have more relation. They also change the color of cheeses. Like in China or in Asia, they have they have Asian cheeses. Okay. okay. Like, I don't, but why would they change the description? Like real quick, if uh, if you know somebody broke into your house, right? And let's just say it was a, uh, uh, it was, let's just say it was Bolo Young. You feel me? Bolo Young, Bolo Young six foot two. Yeah, from Bloodsport. From Bloodsport. Let's just say Bolo Young. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, since his dry so. Like I mean, he wasn't he was in blood sport too. But let's say Bolo Young, you know, breaks into your house and he steals something. And the cops come and they ask, "Hey, what does the perp look like?" Are you going to say it don't matter what he look like? You got to have give him a description so they understand who they're looking for. So, you know, yeah, they might have gone and made all these other images, but it's fake. You feel me? It's to deceive. And but this is gonna show you real quick, and uh, my time is almost up. But the next brother coming up can ed continue edifying if you're willing to stay, brother. Is that guy with you too? No, he's not. No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, I mean, he's over there. We. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk to him too. Like, I mean, I'm saying if you want the truth, though, brother, you should stay right here. Like, the truth is in the Bible, of course. And I yeah. Understand you guys are reading the Bible, but I also know that people interpret the Bible in different ways. That's not true. Saying, not saying that like you guys are interpreting. I'm not saying that you guys interpret it the wrong way. I know that other people interpret it differently. Yeah, other people interpret things differently. We go solo scriptors. If the script says it like that, that's what yeah, it that's, says. That's what you're supposed to so, go ahead and watch. We're going to show you that right, what happened right there, right here. So, this is not considered blasphemy. I mean, it is a black. Go ahead, Ock. Hey, hey, real quick, right? The reason, the reason why this image is the way that it is, is because it's a false image, right? Yeah. So being that it's a false image, we could do whatever we want with it, right? This is not the depiction of the Messiah right here. That's why the brother was going into Revelations, right? Right, of course. But if, right. if, somebody, if somebody walks in here, like yeah. a, random, a random person, like, let's say, like, doesn't believe or like, knows something about Jesus, they're going to be like, they're going like, to say this is Jesus. Yeah. Think that this is wrong so that's what we want them to do. We want them to know that, that this is what they gave the whole world. They deceived the whole world with this, right? So it's our job. Deceive, deceive, deceive the whole world. Like yeah. How? Like, like with who, this. Like who's, who's well, he gonna show you right here in Wisdom of Solomon, right? Why they why they did this, right? Even in the Book of Maccabees, it tell you how they changed these images, right? And they and they painted these images right here in the uh, in the Russian icons, right? So this is not this is not blasphemy what we did here because this is not the true image of the Messiah. That's right. You see that? So we just come out here to show truth. So yeah, yeah, I, 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 give, I totally get what you're saying, but I still would never. What? I still would never do that. Well, why? Because that's. I, who is that guy? Do you know who this is? It's, yeah, it's supposed but to be. But do, do, do you know this is a real it's, image, right? It's evicted like this. That, it's Let, uh, hold on, this is Cesar Bourget, okay? So, I, I, so this guy, this guy is a is a true devil on the earth, right? He slept with his sister Lucretia. You understand that? That's not Jesus. I know that, so that's why we could take this image any way we want to. Like a regular, a regular, I'm saying is a regular person wouldn't know. That. That's what that's what I'm saying. That's Somebody comes come out and say, "Right, oh, who's this?" They're gonna be like, oh, "I think that's supposed to be Jesus," but you're drawing these horns. And then we can tell that, you that that, that image without the horns still isn't Jesus. I'm just saying that could be misleading. Like, cause like I can never see my horns. This is misleading, or like that. which is more misleading, this or the original image that they took from a man named Caesar Borgias and told the entire world that that was the Messiah. What's more misleading? What's more, now hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. What was more misleading? Telling the entire world that this man, Caesar Borgias, without the horns, is the Messiah in the Bible. Was that misleading? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, of course. Okay. So I just want to ask So everybody that that was I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to argue. I'm trying to understand. We're not arguing, brother. So if, if, so this is, so you're saying this is a totally different person. Yes, brother, that's what we're telling totally you. <clears throat> His name is Caesar Borgias. He was a real person, but he wasn't Jesus. Right, correct, correct. That's still, right, that's misleading, but this can also be construed as misleading. All right, brother. Well, look, my time is up. I got a uh, next. No, you good. I'm gonna let the next. But if you like, I said, just stay right there. Yeah, Don't I, go I, nowhere. I gotta try to get some food. I, look, I, I this is the food. real spiritual food right That's here. Right. Just stay right here, and the next brother's gonna edify you. Hey, all right, kid. Give a couple minutes. Uh, uh, 
Kyle, I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna close it up with this right here. I hear you, brother, but like I said, if you want that spiritual fruit, look. Can I just close this up real quick? Go ahead, man. This is the wisdom of Solomon, fourteen, fifteen. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he had made up the image of his child. So that father was Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. Soon take away now honored him as a god. That man died of venereal diseases. Which was then a dead man. A dead man. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. You see that? So they made him a god and they put what? Ceremonies and sacrifices. That's why when you go, you see a lot of people that have that image. They got candles and stuff lit around it. Thus in process of time an ungodly custom ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law you see that and it was kept strong so now everywhere across the world you see that image right. so, so, so bring that out. but look brother like i said i gotta i gotta go brother I know, I'm, but go ahead finish up your thoughts so, so without without how did i know that you Yes. I don't know. That's a, that's okay. A yeah. Song. Take the horns so, away. So, like, you clean this picture. Uh huh. You're, you're saying this was it's not. That's still not Jesus, even without the horns. Right. Right. I mean, we, read, we read in Revelation he had woolly hair and, and, dark, and he had brown dark brown skin. skin. Did we read that? That's yeah. why we put this right here too, because this is another image. But can you say these two look alike? Yeah, that's it's why the, the same, same person, way. brother. That's why we okay, did it this okay, way. Yeah, okay. This is this is an actual you, image. Do you have a picture of what he was supposed to be? According to the scriptures? Can I read it again? Like what? Read it to him. Can, read I, for can, me. Read it? I can I read it one more time? Hey, hey go ahead. Hey, go ahead. All right. Hey, Mahar. Hey, look. I want to end it by saying, Carl, all you by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Heavenly Father. I want to say, Thwada Yahweh, Thwada Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders, double honors to the truth. You know what I mean? Double honors to all the other camps out there teaching this in truth and sincerity. Come, Yashala! Come, Yashala! Come, Yashala! Alright, look, my brother got you right now. Just stay right there. And then it doesn't look like this. Somebody has to explain to me why this looks the way it looks. Well, if I'm not talking if it's about not in the Bible, I'm, well, I'm not talking about the way it looks. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's reset real quick. Give us a second. Give us one second. All right, first off, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father. We say, call hello, Abinawi Yahawah, Baha Hashem Yahawah Shai. Right, that's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Because the J wasn't invented until when? 1600s? Roughly 1613. So, what was used before the J? But if you look in the Bible, there's an I there. Okay. So which one is it, the I or the Y? I'd assume it would be the Y. The point that we're trying to make to you is that there's a people in this world that has deceived everybody, and you're standing next to them. Right. That's what we're saying. Let me get the book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. We're going to start with that. We're going to start with that. So now here's another question. Here's another question to you. When did Christ say, or when did God say to be a Christian? Last time I checked, this right here is a book of law. Matter of fact, give me, uh, give me the book of Baruch, four and one. But that we we we're gonna we're gonna break that down. Okay, we're gonna go back to that John three sixteen, which is. Christian and Christianity's favorite verse. Right. Yet nobody knows what 314 says. That's right. Nobody knows what 31 says. That's right. Nobody knows what 29 says. Ah. Right? You guys just listen to what the church has taught you. Church run by his people. Right? And then you just fly along and think everything's good. Was everything good when his people were putting us in slavery? When they were whipping our backs in? Right. When they were beating us? Feeding our children to alligators? It was it equality then? No. It wasn't. And it's, it's never, like, there's, there's more slaves in human history than there has 
What you got? Uh, and now than there's ever been. Okay. What you got? Right? Is that, one? Is that not a Grab name? me also. Keep a finger in that. Most get me on. Um, uh, human slaves. It's like you're, you're saying that. Give me that Ecclesiastes wife, 501. That, that wife cannot be slaves as well. All right. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Let me get a Ecclesiastes 501. Can, can wife not be slaves as well? Oh, they're going to be slaves. And I'll give you a precept that says that as well. The Lord ain't coming back to love everybody. Right. That's Get what up. you think. He's Get not. You know, let's, 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 let's listen to what the Bible says. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. So where two or three are gathered in his name, that's church. And if you want to be able to participate in church, you have to hold yourself, right? You have to hold your spirit. Let's see why. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear talk. Be more ready to hear complain. Be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. So what we need you to do, if you want to come and have a dialogue with us, we just need you to listen so that we can teach you what we're talking about. Absolutely. You were talking with the other brother, but now you're talking with someone different. Okay. So if you want to learn something, if you want us to break down what the world is in John 3.16, because it's not everybody. It's not everybody. It's a conversation. If you go back to 3.1, it's a conversation between two Jews. Right. Right. Is it Chinese people in Mongolia? It's two Jews. One that rules the land of, uh, the land of Judah. Right. Whoever Jew that believes in. But did you not hear Acts? Oh, let's get Acts 2 again. Let's get Acts 2 again. Hey, see, you're doing too much talking, and you weren't. You, you just heard the precepts say, be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. And that's what you're giving right now. Let's read this real quick so that we can find out what kind of book this is that we're reading, that you partake in. Baruch 4.1. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. And that's what it is. It's not a book. What happened was, was his people took this book and created Christianity, Roman Catholicism, right. Baptist, P Protestant, uh, uh, Seventh-day Adventist. Right. Where in the Bible does it say to be any of those things? Right. Question. <laughs> so Another question. Would, Bring it on. Wouldn't Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, whoever wrote the New Testament, would that, like, would you be saying those are white people? I would say I would say those are Israelites from the various tribes of Israel. That's what I would say, and they were no nowhere near a white person. Let's find out. Let's go to Acts thirteen and one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go to Acts, Acts thirteen and one. Let's see what they used to call the prophets back then. Bring it out. This is the book of Acts, chapter thirteen, verse one. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger no that's not in the Bible one more time that was called nigger now who do you who does his people call that word right there people like your father right he doesn't he doesn't say that uh, I don't care what he says or what he doesn't say. Dude. I'm asking you, do you think your father has ever been called that? But, but hold on now, hold on, hold on. Niger was nowhere, Niger didn't come. Niger wasn't developed until 19, it's in the 1900s. Okay. Hey, you want to you wanna play it so that he can hear it? Oh, he doesn't believe his eyes. You gotta, you gotta tell them that it's, it's Niger, right? But they changed it. You put another G on there. What is it? Yeah, it's a different word. Okay, but it's not. But it still means the same. It means the same exact it means the same thing. thing. It means a black person. So we, we can't be ignorant. That's why they called this nigger, right? So that's why this is there. So I just showed you the definition that was actually there in the scripture. So we're not going nowhere else. That's why I showed you a friendly. Uh, uh, yeah, I got it. I got a form right here. Here, here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's what it is. So it's like, Wait, he, hold on, hold on, hold on. he would never be yeah. saved. He, he did not, he did not be saved. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Charles G, 3526. 
Niger. What? Niger. <laughs> and that, that's from <laughs> that's from someone who studies the Bible. So the prophets that were back then weren't his color. Right. They were this brother's color. Yeah. Right? Also from North Africa and the Middle East. Absolutely. So back to what the Bible actually is. That's right. He asked a good question. Yeah. He said, he said, he, 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 he would he my friend never be saved? Damn. Well, let's find out. Let's, let's go right to the... Let's Bring it out! Cutting up the meat. Hey, give me Isaiah 14 and we'll start at 1. You give me Revelation 13 and we're just going to keep... We're gonna Bring go it out! You want meat, we're going to give you meat. Bring it out! We are going to give you meat. I pray you don't choke, you know, but hey, these words are a double-edged sword. Right? And they cut right down to your soul. Bring this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and 1. You listening? You ready? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Who's Jacob? Did he wrestle with an angel and became Israel? Yes. Okay. So he wrestled with the angel, and the angel renamed him to Israel, which means power with God. And will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. Now, mind you, this is future prophecy right here, right? So if it's saying that the Lord is going to choose Israel and set them in their own land, then who the hell are those people over there now? Right. There you go. And set them in their own land. And the strangers. The stranger is everybody that is not Jacob, that's not the children of Israel. That's right. Shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right. They're going to cleave on that day. That day, the heathen, which is everybody that's not the children of Israel, are going to cleave to the house of Israel. That's right. Why? And the people shall take them. Ask them. Take, take them, them. Beg them. Take, take them, them. And bring them to their place. Bring them to their place. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them. In the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Hey, that said a lot. Did you hear any of that? It said that, yeah, we're going to finish it. It said that the house of Israel is going to take the other nations as a possession. Right. The same way that they had our brothers and sisters on trees, in, 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 in chains, in in. in uh, uh, strapped up uh, butcher shops right. cutting off nuts right. slicing women in half right. sticking cats inside oh, there right. the same thing is going to happen to his people right. keep going right. and they shall rule over their oppressors they're going to live happily ever after thus say Christianity and they shall rule over their oppressors that just said that the house of Israel is going to rule over their oppressors. Right. Let's get into verse 21. Come on. So who's the oppressor, son? Hey, you tell me who's the oppressor. <laughs> if you walked up to your father right now, who you say is a so-called black man, right? right there, that's the oppressor What right would there. he say? <laughs> who he would say the oppressor is? Right. Would he say? There's nobody. I can show you that somebody's oppressing you. Do you have to pay taxes? Okay, is this not stolen land? Who was here before the white people? Bring it out! Who was here before white people? Bring it out! Who was here before white people? I need you to answer that question first. Who was here before the white people? Yes. There you go. So they killed, raped, and robbed the Native American people so that they can get access to this land. Right. And now, in turn, they're charging you to live here. Damn. Do you right. not pay rent? Bring it on. Do you not pay rent? Bring it on. There you go. Bring it on. You pay taxes. You pay Damn. everything because his people. Right. You can't even leave the country without Damn. a passport. Right. You have to have permission from his people Damn. in order to leave this goddamn country. This place is finished. If you haven't heard or you haven't seen, this place is finished. Right? The economy is about to tank. Right? Stock market is going down. Right? There's wars going on everywhere. And you want to save this guy? 
the same person, the same person. Oh man! See, this is this is what happens. See, the devil doesn't like the word, right? The devil doesn't like the word. So now the devil has to send one of his flunkies. Because I I feel like this is one of your flunkies. I think this is one of your flunkies. Right. Because he's always trying to he's trying to save everybody. Right. God don't love everybody. He don't. Let's get. What, what you got? Isaiah 14 and 21. Listen up. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare, Prepare slaughter. slaughter. Prepare hugs and kisses. Prepare, Prepare slaughter. For who? For, for his, his children. children. For the iniquity of, of their, their fathers. fathers. The iniquity of the person that you're trying to save? His forefathers left him a tab that his ass is going to get cashed on. That's why. Bring it out. And that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. That's right. Is it, is, is it okay? You can ask a question. Are you listening to anything that we're bringing out? Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> you ain't listening. It's okay. It's okay. Ask your question. I, I am. I'm listening, and that's why I'm trying to respond. Mm -hmm. You guys aren't letting me. Well, that, we got to finish first because, you know, in a conversation, one person talks, one person listens. Of course. And I've been, like I said, I've been listening. So what's your question? What's your question? And then we're going to get that Revelation 13. So, so if you want to talk about the white man talk, coming over here and taking his Americans over. Oh, it's not only the white man. It's not only him. Correct. It's not only him. You have the transatlantic slave trade. You have the, uh, uh, the sub-Saharan slave trade. You have Silk Road slave trade. What else? We have the Assyrian captivity. What else? We have the Egyptian captivity. We have the Babylonian captivity. Finish your question, please. Right, so at one point, there's, all land has been considered stolen or conquered at some point, right? By who? Correct. Correct. By who? So Mongol was it, hasn't taken over parts of China or something like that. Or uh, uh, the Japanese, like there's, there's been multiple empires that have happened in the entire, in the entire course of human history. Mm -hmm. And they weren't all white. Right. They were not all white. Now, here's the right? thing. Here's the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. Right. Let me give you. Let me give you a quick answer. Let me give you a quick answer. Hold your thought real quick. Two seconds. Also, my friend had nothing to do with that. And that's fine. But did you not hear what the precept just said? It said his forefathers. His forefathers. So now here's the thing, because you ain't stopping. So I'm just gonna keep going. So when it, there you go. There it is. The, the devil got to flee. Wicked flee. Wicked flee. Wicked flee. Can we get that? Bring that up. Twenty-eight and one. Because he wanted to do all the talking, but you ain't going to do all the talking on this platform. This platform is for the Lord. That's who it is. It's so that we can wake up our people. Right? Our people who think they're so-called black. Our people who think they're two continents. Our people who think they're a, a, a property of Spain. Our people ain't properties of Spain. Look, there you go. The enemy. The enemy. The devil coming out to bring... Hey. Smooth words. They ran across the street. Bring this out. They ran across the street. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. The wicked flee. The wicked what? The, the wicked flee. The wicked what? The, the wicked, wicked flee. Right. When no man pursue it. And we ain't pursuing you. Right. You want to save your oppressor? You go ahead and save your oppressor. Right. We right. get uh, thrust through. That's uh, fucking cool. What you got? My Pachi way. Come on, we're going to get that. Let me get, um, actually, matter of fact, let's get that one right here. Isaiah 30 and 12. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression. You trust in what? And trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. That's right, because that's all that comes from this so-called Edomites. I see it. Right? It's the, it's the only thing that comes from them because they are profane people. So why would you get anything wholesome from this idiot standing on a stool? Right. That don't make no sense. But yet, of course, our brother, or I don't know if he might, he might not be our brother. I don't know. Tell you know, I, 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 I don't think hey, he might not be. He, he seemed like a damn devil. But of course, our people only want to save their oppressor. Our people want to save the same people that put knees on your neck for 10 minutes at a time. Right. Who put 61 bullets in your back. But yet, our people want to save their oppressor. Bring this out. It's the 
book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 15. Every one that is found shall be thrust through, shall be given a hug and a box of chocolate, shall be thrust through. You are going to be thrust through, sir, if you continue with that Edomite. Okay? Let's finish it. And every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. There it is. So if you think that saving your oppressor or begging for forgiveness for your oppressor, God doesn't work like that. The Most High Yahweh does not work like that, right? He is a just God. He deals with just balances. You're not going to have one person bullying the entire world and him be okay with that. What he's doing is he's allowing them to build up their tab. Right. And when the time is right, he's going to cash out on all your asses. Right. Let me get the book of Obadiah. Bring it out. We're going to go with the book of Obadiah because nobody reads the Bible. Though they say they love God, yet they don't read the Bible. You're not going to get the Bible from that idiot. He's going to give you smooth words. That's right. He's going to give you stuff you want to hear. But out. God don't operate like that. Bring Did he not flood the world? Right. Did he not burn up Sodom and Gomorrah? Right. Right. Our God is a just God. Right. Bring this out. Bring it out. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. There it is. The wicked shall not be unpunished. Though you want to walk with your with, with your uh with your little Edomite buddy, he ain't gonna be unpunished. He's gonna snatch him up and he's gonna snatch you up with him. Right. Bring it out. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter one, verse eight. Shall I not in that day, saith Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom? All the wise men that are